Hi guys. Well, this is Solar Assistant. I uh, made a video earlier and uh, Pierre obviously hopped right on it. If you look here, it shows that he got it active again at nine, about 9 a.m. Okay, maybe a little bit before 9 a.m. I just went in and started reading some emails. He sent me an email with showing that, or saying that, hey, he fixed it, here's the link, and popped back on there. Sure enough, it popped up. It's got my battery percentage, showing my PV input. It is a little bit cloudy, so it's not the greatest. I do have a battery charge only. We're not, this there is where I plugged in the car. Okay, this high, high usage of plugged in the car. Okay. And uh, that's, that's where it's at. I don't have a whole lot of data to go back and show you because he just got it active again. I think he changed, he, I, he, I think he logged out and logged back in. He gave me a different URL. So the previous stuff isn't on there, but he did get it up and working. So it is working with the new firmware. We'll uh, go over here to configuration. So and you can see all three of them are connected so and i need to change that Find something close to where we're at. Let's see if he has North America listed. says U.S. Pacific. We're going to do that. And it says 8.32 p.m. That's not correct. So... Yeah, U.S. Pacific is correct. Let's see what happens here. Save.
Okay. Looks like everything's uh, the way it's supposed to be. Now ah, we're up to 94% on the battery now. With the uh, battery charge only, if you look here, this is the battery charge only um, inverters put in power. And you look over here and it's not as high because it's reached the amount where I have it set. It doesn't stay on until it hits 100%. Once it hits a certain percentage, you'd see where it dropped right there. And so my battery charge only inverter is not helping to charge. And the ones that are on lithium um, Li and LO1 on setting 36 and Li on uh, setting 5, those are the only ones charging right here. And this is what the battery is telling them how much juice to put in. And when you have the higher demand, see how it raised right up there on the solar input? Okay. So we're, uh, yeah, it's, it's doing what it's supposed to. And uh, thank you, Pierre, for fixing that. We're going to check our phone here. As soon as I went on there and saw that. Okay. Oh, I, I took that off. That might be a good thing. Let's go over here. Make sure that's the same. It is. Click on it. I, I don't know if you guys can see that. Awesome. It's back on my phone. Just like that. Anyways. Thank you, Pierre, for addressing that and getting that hooked back up and working. I greatly appreciate it. And now I can make sure that you get a positive review from me and we'll get that, we'll get this video out there. That way people can see that you did address it in a very timely manner. I'm not sure what time it is for you right now, but it, you sent me an email somewhere around four in the morning. so. I have a feeling that, or two in the morning, so I have a feeling that you were up late doing that. Anyways, thank you very much. And for you people that, uh, with the solar assistant, yes, it's working. We, he fixed the issue. And you might have to contact him um, via email or something else. Um, we'll... Uh, I, I, I'll uh, put his email on this video. Um, we'll uh, type it in somewhere. Anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe.